and he's not extremely ripped. He has quite a bit of fat, uh, a kind of fat layer on top of his muscles. He does have giant muscles though, but yeah. Uh, it is basic and uh, basic anatomy reference. It says whilst doing 3D characters is is key. You really need it. I I know slightly. I mean I know a bit of anatomy stuff. I mean uh, you know I don't know skull stuff. I mean it's the cranium that that's all I know about skulls. Uh, but I mean deltoids. I mean pecs. Pectoral pectoral is major minor. And, you know stuff like that, the ob obliques. I mean, all of these things are p things you really, really need to pick up on, and um, you know, lats and such. Uh, just basic muscles, the most commonly used, and you know, uh, model muscles. Uh, the larger one, basically, largest muscles. You probably should learn uh, how they sit and you know how they kind of function. I, I'm still in the progress of that. It's a hard thing learning an anatomy, but it's it's quite interesting. Our bodies are really uh, quite spectacular things. Here I'm just. I mean, I figured I wouldn't need to comment on this. I'm just doing some weird skull things. I, you can see that my workflow while poly painting is actually. I'm. I'm doing. I don't focus just on one area and then move on to the next. I do the entire thing at once. I cycle through this for different parts uh, all the time. Uh, this because you know. Uh, I find that I get more detail out of it that way, and I. I think it's just. It just works better, and I just realized I. I forgot. To notify you about that skipping your parts there, but just ignore it. I I'm going to forget. Oh, we're doing we're doing clothes now. Um, here I'm going in with a drag drag rectangle and a kind of leathery elf uh, leathery texture I think, and just drag it on there. Uh, grabbing some more. Uh, I think this is a jeans texture I think, and just doing it with a low uh, RGB intensity to get some sort of overlay thing. Going in with us with some standard uh, ZBrush textures and just adding them there. Uh, just get some color into there, and it's uh, co clothing is quite fun to do in ZBrush. Honestly, it's, it's very easy. You can just blend things very, very easily. Uh, here, I'm actually going to just do some manual uh, painting. Yeah, <laughs> who knew? I actually painted this video. Yeah, uh, but yes, I'm doing some random highlights, uh, even though it's not really necessary. But I figured it would be look cool. I mean. Also, add some color here because I figured it had gone a bit pale, so I add some reds, um, some browns. Very, very simple work. Uh, I mean, it's nothing too serious this work, but I mean, it's, it's fun to do. So I'm going to do pretty much the same thing here on the uh, upper straps, doing some drag rectangle with a nice rectangle, uh, drag rectangle with a nice texture on it, which is what I'm going to do for the rest of this part. Uh, yeah, this is basically the same thing as previously, adding some more textures. The the key with uh, painting with textures is ZBrush to make clothing uh, materials pop. Uh, just blend a lot of shit. That's basically what I'm going to say. Just blend bitches. Just blend it. And uh, you'll get a lot of stuff out of it. Um, so here, in a second, I'm just adding a lot of things because I th it looks very odd now, I know, but... I think I'm actually going to go in and refine the geometry for a while here, um, because I find it a bit undefined. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, oh, actually I'm going to completely redo that gate. Yeah, I thought it looked really odd, so I, I'm just going to redo it. Uh, which is a nice thing, because in ZBrush you can just redo things, uh, which you think look, think look wrong. Um, again, working very zoomed out, and that is a good idea in general, uh, because... Uh, you'll get a bigger sense of the entire thing as a whole. Here I'm going with the Damien standard brush, which uh, is default on ZBrush 3.5 and upwards, but is uh, you have to download it if you have anything, uh, you know, it's it's on ZBrush Central, let's just say that. And quickly refining some of the geometry, nothing too big, just I want some more definition into there and I get it. Uh, so that's it now, I'm adding some more very very subtle textures and I think I'm going to go in soon and actually do the manual highlighting as well. Adding some uh, copper textures even on there which looks odd but I mean it, it kind of works. Uh, again a lot of color, a lot of a lot of things that isn't really visible by the end but add things to the model. Here I'm going in with the um, freehand brush with the standard uh, color spray, spray splotchy alpha and just doing what I'm doing refining and adding some shading, yeah. Uh, again, uh, also it's a bit too pale, so I add some color around. Here, as you can see, when I cut the geometry and it kind of went into the uh, body, so I'm using the move tool and holding the alt key, I can just quickly fix those areas and uh, it goes very easily. Uh, so, I think I'm going to do the, um, the loincloth here soon. 
uh, after I finish this part off, uh, and after I save, remember to save people, I've said this previously, but it has happened to me many, many times, and uh, many of those times, including in this project, when I forget to save, and the program crashes, because ZBrush uh, sometimes tends to crash. I know 3.5 is actually a lot more stable than 3.2, which is what I have, which is the uh, current, uh, current most recent uh, Mac edition, but... Uh, mine crashes every once in a while, so I have this odd habit of saving a lot. And, yeah, it actually takes a lot of hard drive space when I save, which is silly, but, you know. Uh, so, when you save in increments, uh, delete some of them every once in a while, if, unless you have a giant hard drive, which I, I have a lot of hard drives, but they're all full, basically, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, here, I'm probably going to start doing the loincloth there, um... Where am I? Not sure. I'm going to save first. Yeah, because I'm a man and men save. Men save! Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, so, am I, am I actually doing something productive this uh, this part? Yeah, well, okay, I did those clothes parts, which are quite, I think, educational. Oh, right, I'm going to refine the back a bit more, I think. Um, because, again, it looks weird. If too much color, basically. Too much color isn't good. I know adding color to skin can be good, but adding too much color? No, don't do that. Which is what I did at first. Um, I think I'm going with a yellow. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, so, now then, I think we're doing the long cloth. Yay, long cloth. Uh, basically the same thing as I've always done. Uh, drag rectangle the same. I wanted to match those previously, those this other cloth part I made, and... It kind of does in the end, so dragging the same texture a bunch of times uh, on both sides with, with symmetry on, and just, I mean, yeah. Uh, so, anything I want to say here? I don't think so. I mean, all, all I'm doing here is just dragging and dragging and trying to drag perfectly, which is weird because it never works like that, but it ends up being quite fine, methinks. So here I'm going in with some more, uh, that same on jeans texture and going to overlay that as well on both sides to make it look good and um, as you can see on this model I don't have just texture detail I actually have some uh, surface detail as well some noise on that model so uh, it kind of works in favor of that uh, so I mean I'm not going to do too much work on this thing but I mean I'm going to do some I think I'm going to darken up the edges and stuff like that uh, dragging some uh, very bright and uh, stuff like that I'm actually going to monotone this uh, texture down a bit. It's not going to be too colorful because I don't like that in clothing. It's not It's not going to be, be bloody copper. It's going to be a true texture. Well, not a true texture, a true clothing part thing, which it looks decently like. And uh, darkening up the edges here because I like that stuff and now it kind of looks like rock, which I'm going to fix here. Adding some more browns into it, uh, I think at least. I, I think I'm actually going to keep it like this for a while. Uh, Am I? Um, I? I think I'm soon done. I'm almost done with this thing. Adding some browns again because I think it's a bit too gray. And I think I'm done now. I'm just going to add some manual shading into this thing. Uh, which looks decent, I guess. I mean, I just want to have some more detail on there. So as you can see, it kind of looks good. It looks like some sort of a bare clothes material, maybe. Here I have, th I have these stitches, but I... <laughs> So I want to kind of highlight these, but I don't think it works that well in my favor. So I think I actually undo all of this uh, later on. As you can see, just going through roughly uh, these highlights. Oh well, those stitches were made by you know the standard ZBrush stitch brush, which works quite well for stitches, honestly. Uh, so anything else on this part? I don't think I have to do a lot of other things on the loin cloth. I think it's quite. Close down. I'm going to tweak some of the um, geometry, though I think. But uh, texture-wise, I think the long cloth is quite uh, quite finished. Uh, so yeah, just doing the move tool thing and moving some parts down because it didn't quite match up, uh, and I had to fix that. I think I accidentally moved some parts uh, prior to this and uh, had to fix it. So yeah. Uh, again, d using the move brush, holding down alt and doing that, uh, kind of drags it out uh, by its normal, and therefore kind of, you know, works very well, well with that. Uh, so yeah, 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 anything I want to say, I'm not sure, I'm not doing much at the moment. Uh, the chain, I'm actually not going to text the chain at all, I'm just going to give it a material. Nothing too special, nothing like that. I mean, I don't, it looks like metal, yes, but I, I don't want anything that stands out too much. It look, just looks weird. I want the chain to kind of be subtle. 
Uh, so, yeah. Okay, what am I doing here? I'm trying to fill the object with this material, which uh, my eyes showed you how to do. Um, I I showed you in my previous tutorial uh, on how to um, 